Banho, vou no banho, vou no banho. Ô, oh, banho. Ô, oh, bebê. Cara, eu lavo esse banho, só que eu banho, só que eu banho. Eu no banho, papai, eu no banho. Vamos no banho, banho. Man, is it beautiful? Look at my little, my little big boy. Where's the little one? Oh my gosh, she's all the way over there. Oh, look at you. You're so wet, mommy. You're so wet. Oh no, my little wet rat. Pecky. Pecky, mommy. Oh. Where's Bob? Oh, he's already right there. Bolinho, a ver. Say hi to the tube. Say hi to the chan. Be like, hi, you two chan. Hi. Hi. Oh, my little old boy. Uh, let's go inside. I'm gonna, para dentro, para dentro. Don't worry, guys. They're house puppies. We keep them nice and warm here. Huh, papa? Uh, yeah. You like being in the house? Yeah, puppy? Oh, yeah. I know you do. I know you do. Yeah. You're such a good boy, my puppy. Look at the little rat. <laughs> oh, Peggy. Why? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my little Wookie warm. She's been, she's a little cold. My little mommy. It's cold for her outside. Okay, let me set this up. Hello YouTube. So real quick before I start this vlog, I just wanted to sit down and really thank everyone for commenting on my last video. You know, I I mentioned how I wished I had an audience like Amber and you know, just people supporting me and that's exactly what I got and I I, I truly wasn't expecting it and I received a lot of support and a lot of love and I'm just really grateful and you know I read every single comment and they were all so amazing and supportive um I even had someone from Canada comment and share their experience and it really resonated with me so I just want to thank her and tell her thank you for sharing your experience with me and letting me know that I'm not alone but again thank you everyone for commenting I, I truly mean that like it it really means a lot to me, and just thank you. Also, um, people gave me some pretty solid advice, and something that I saw rep uh, repeating in the comments is that I need to show myself love, you know? I, I need to love myself more, and that's going to be my goal for today and the next day, and so on for us. So I'm going to really try focusing on just loving myself and be kind, being more kind to myself, and um, what I'm going to do today to kind of, you know, begin that is I'm going to really focus on, you know, for me, when I think of self-care and loving myself, I think about, you know, taking care of a person. So what would I do? What I would do to take care of another person is what I should be doing for myself. And that would be cooking. So I'm going to cook for myself today and, you know, just feed my body food and supplement it the way that you know my body should be supplemented and fed <laughs> um another thing is another thing that comes to mind is self-care um so i'm really gonna try to focus on taking care of my skin it's something that i used to do a lot before um you know i got depressed is um skincare i love skincare i'm obsessed with it i used to take care of my skin every single day and so um i've been good so far uh, i've been taking care of my skin um for the past couple of days but i just want to continue that and make it a point to really you know start to incorporate it more in my um in my day and i'm also going to exercise because I know that that's something that my body needs. I know that that's something that I need to do. I'm not um, mobile. I'm, I'm mostly stationary. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know. I just sit all day and that's not good. So I'm going to be moving a lot more and um, being more active because I know that's what's good for my body. So, And another thing that I 
consider self-love is um focusing on my spirituality you know um I had a rough couple of years and I really found comfort in reading and studying the Bible. So that's something I want, I really want to get back to. And, um, I just want to start reading the Bible daily. It, it means a lot to me. And, um, I'm going to start doing that again because it really made me see things in a different light. It made me a more positive person. And that's just what I want to do. That's what I want to be. I want to be more positive and I want to, you know, really focused on my mental health it's good for me mentally so that's what i'm gonna also do and um yeah so um yeah i guess let's start this vlog i just i was really really grateful right now and i just wanted to let you guys know it is so cold outside right now oh my gosh washing my face right now is gonna be so painful because it is so cold why is the water not heating up the water is not heating up Oh, it is so cold right now. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? I heard that cool water is good for you anyways. It's not heating up, so. Oh, oh my god, that is cold. Does anyone know what the back is for? Like, like I know the front is to wash your face, obviously, but what's the back for? Is that just to like massage your face or? Oh God. <laughs> We're done. We're done. You're done. Okay, so I don't know if anyone else relates to this and this is kind of embarrassing to show but um okay let me just say a little story when i was in high school when my friend my best friend at the time haiti when she would come over um i would always have a depressive room and that's how she would know my mental state no i know i know you want to talk about bad about me and i wouldn't mind because you're honest me things I already know. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, your room was scary. Oh my god, talk about your loogie cup. Oh, I hated that cup. But yes, you could talk about me. I don't mind. Oh my god, okay. I will tell you all the things I remember because I'm kind of traumatized by your room. Each time I visited, you forgot to give you a blanket. And you, oh my god, you. I slept under your 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 bed mattress that one time and you didn't even notice because you left your window open i was too scared to ask you um i forgot okay yeah you were sad i think you like kind of like split up for a moment with like kevin i kind of didn't know but i kind of figured it out in a way because i remember like i walked in your room you didn't tell me yet but like something was off like you have a corner too like a corner of all your papers and another corner of all your like dirty clothes and another corner of your clean clothes and like your bed was like all a mess, like you didn't fix it. When you fixed it, you know you were like in a good mood, life is put together. And I remember when we didn't fix it, like all over a mess, like school was a mess or someone's in your way or like drama. So when things weren't clean, you could tell something was in your mind and you just didn't care to fix it. So you could tell when you ain't okay, you ain't cleaning okay. Like based on how clean your room is, you could tell how bad it was my living space represents my mentality and i don't know if anyone else um relates to that like if i'm feeling down and depressed i just i don't feel like cleaning now that i'm married um it's similar to that but kind of different because oh my poor husband okay so kevin helps me clean and he helps me keep the house clean but um, he works a lot. And we recently started our, our um, own business, our own uh, roadside business. So he's always out and about and I'm always home. But, um, you know, and, I, and I, do, I really do try to keep the house clean. I really do because um, we're renting this house. It's my brother's house. And, you know, out of respect for him, I really try keeping it clean and taking care of his house. Um, but sometimes... Oh, this is so embarrassing. This is 
this is so embarrassing. It's it's so hard. <sighs> Damn. Keep it together. It's it's hard to um have a clean space when I don't even know how to how to explain it, you know. I guess the easiest way for me to explain is if my mind is clustered, my living space around me is also clustered. And, um, you know, I want to be honest and I want to be transparent. And before I show you guys this, just know this is really hard for me to show on the internet because it's embarrassing. Um, okay. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, okay, okay. I haven't done the dishes in God knows how long. It's, the floor is a mess. So I just, I have random mail there and stuff that I need to put away. I haven't done the dishes in so long. I have stuff that's out, um, trash on the floor. <laughs> And just, I don't know why that's there. I, I don't know why. Um, and this, <laughs> um, this I have a perfectly good explanation for, it, actually. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So I've been in a better state of mind, and um, I decided I was going to wash all of my clothes, all of my laundry, all at once. <laughs> And um, when I washed everything and everything got out the dryer, I didn't have space in my room because I have a really small room in this house um, <laughs> to fold my clothes. So the biggest room I can think of is the kitchen. And that's where I started folding everything and just organizing stuff. Um, I don't know if I have OCD, but, you know, I really want to separate all my shirts, all my tank tops, all my leggings, all my pants, all my underwear and everything. I just wanted to have everything separated. And then, you know, when I'm doing one task, I, I can't finish because I feel like I get distracted and I do something else and then I can't finish that something else because I want to do something else. And then it's just it's hard to focus on one thing. I literally have the attention span of a goldfish. But today I'm in a good mood and I have a lot of energy right now. I don't know why, but I'm just going to, um, you know, clean the whole kitchen. Um, it's going to get done. I'm going to do this. It needs to be clean. The rest of the house is already clean. Um, this is the only room that's been like stressing me out. And I've, I've kind of just been like pushing this. I like I'll clean it later. I'll clean it later. But no, today I'm really going to clean it. And I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And, um, Okay, so the floor looks a lot better now, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I just need a sweep, mop, and uh, uh, these dishes, yikes. <laughs> reasons I'm out okay so I'm actually really proud of myself well it wasn't just me my husband helped me clean a little bit too but I'm just I'm happy because it's clean and it's been dirty for a while and to see it clean now it just oh my gosh I guess what I was trying to explain earlier is that you know my living space reflects my mentality and to see this clean just you know, like, this is how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling super positive. And to see a clean space that represents my, menta my mentality right now, it's just, it makes me happy. <laughs> Let's take a look, you guys. Everything is so much cleaner. The dishes are clean. The sink is clean. Yes, the countertop is clean. No more plushies and all the clothes is put away um if you're wondering why laundry is here it's literally because our laundry room is right there so and 
that's going to the trash. But our laundry room is right there, and so that's why it was kind of, that's why it was easier for me to fold clothes here in the first place, so. Okay, so now that the house is clean, um, I did tell my husband that I wanna go grocery shopping, so he's gonna come pick me up in a bit so that we can go do that, and um, yeah, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna make chicken and rice, keep it super simple, nothing too complex. But I'm gonna make my favorite kind of rice, which is lime rice, um, definitely inspired by Chipotle's rice. So um, I hope that you guys can make it at home and taste it for yourselves, but it's really good. Okay, so I'm still waiting for my husband, and um, I don't know, I kind of want to weigh myself. Look, listen, I know it's only been two days, but I'm just curious, you know? Like, I feel good. I feel lighter. <laughs> um, I, I just want to see if, you know, I'm just curious. I just want to see if there's even the slightest difference. Is this toxic? I don't know. I should probably only do this once a week, right? I just want to see. I'm just curious. I don't know why I'm nervous. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. An eight pound kettle thing. Don't know what it's called. It was at 7.9. Did y'all see that? It's at 7.9. It looked accurate. Hold on. Yeah, 7.9. That's how much it weighed last time. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ignore my dogs, y'all. I know. What is that? Oh, what is that? Ignore my hot dogs. Two hundred and forty-five. So I did lose some weight. There's some progress there. I lost weight. You haven't eaten breakfast. <laughs> That's true, I haven't. But we're going to go get the stuff to cook and make. So can you take me to Walmart now? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, on the way to Walmart. I've seen people recorded in Walmart and... Um, Workers usually walk up to them and they tell them, oh, you can't record because you're in a public, um, oh no, private property. Walmart is a private property, so you can't uh, record in their stores. So um, we're going to do it anyways because... Um, <laughs> So how many? Just a couple, like four. Okay. Two, three, four, five, and six more. There we go. Okay. <laughs> what do they have, Kevin? Oh my god, those pumpkins have cancer, bro. Cancer, bro? Bro. <laughs> There's literally workers everywhere, so it's gonna be hard to record. Kevin, I lost you. I, I had the limes left right here and fell out this hole. Oh no. Okay. Well then we need to get some nice little chimkin. We need some chimkin. Nice little chimkin. Little chimkin, darling. Chimkin has been secured. So now... We gotta find an escape hatch. We got all three. <laughs> <laughs> There's a game on Roblox that we play where you have to collect like... Um, what's it called? Grocery Item. Items. Gro no, grocery no, items. And then uh, you get to escape. It's called Panic. Oh yeah. Panic. Really good game if you want to check it out. It's a really good game. I love playing Roblox. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have the chimkin. We need to go get blada, dear. We need to get some blada. Cilantro, chicken, lime. So we just need butter and pecky sweater. It came out better when I did that. Show them the, the butter because this is the the butter we're getting, yeah. Look at that. Look at you, YouTuber. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Funny stuff happening. Okay. So we've secured the mozzarella. Now we're on our way to get the sweater for Cinderella. Peggy. Um, she's not a princess. Her mom. Okay. So her mom is literally named Princess, and um, yeah. Okay. She's a small. For sure. She's an extra small, right? Um, I look, don't know. this is like a Yorkie right there. That does look like a York. This is for a toy Yorkie. She's this, not a toy Yorkie, is this she? Is for a Yorkie. Her dad was a toy Yorkie, but Princess is a normal Yorkie. Alright. 
Well, how much did I say the pecky weighs? Like three pounds. XXS is for three to seven pounds. XS is for five to ten pounds. So get S. Do you want to get this for her to grow into it? Or this? Well, she's like seven months now. Get this brown one right here. This one's cuter. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi, Pecky. Looking out the window as usual, Mama. Yo. Oh, my God. You're shivering. Oh, she's shaking, dude. Put on her sweater. It's in there. Okay. I'll, I'll put it on right now. Hold on. It's too small. No, it's not. Be gentle. Oh, snap. I just got a high paint job. You can't just... Throw... So we got little Miss Peggy Lynn a sweater. She's not used to it, but she really needs it because she was shaking. It's been, it's getting cold here and um, yeah. No, Peggy, no. Leave it on. It's keeping you warm, okay? You need it, mommy. Okay, guys. So if you guys like Chipotle, I 100% recommend you make this rice. You will not regret it. It is amazing. So for um dinner tonight we're gonna have some chicken with some shredded mozzarella sour cream and some cilantro lime rice and um what else am i gonna put oh avocado keep it super simple easy you know i like it like that i'm a plain gal y'all can make salsa on the side and like drizzle it on top you know but i'm trying to avoid um nightshades because in my family we do have a history of autoimmune diseases, so I just don't want to activate anything in my body. Um, so I do avoid nightshades, which is why I can't have tomato, garlic, onion, and all that stuff. But um, yes, ma'am. So let's uh, proceed. Okay, guys. So for this recipe, you're going to need two cups of rice. Um, you're going to need one lime, but I like to add two limes. <laughs> Three cups of water and one tablespoon of salt. I don't like to keep it. I like salt. I just don't like it too salty. So, you know, I'm not going to add a lot of salt. And you're going to need six tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro. Okay. Okay. And you're going to need one bay leaf. Okay. And I believe for the olive oil, it's supposed to be like six tablespoons of it um i'll explain as i go because you're supposed to add three tablespoons while you're cooking it and then when it's done cooking you add three more tablespoons just trust the process y'all it's it tastes amazing and i 100 percent recommend this recipe okay so i already have my rice going here i wash it until the water is clear and you know you can stick your finger and you can see it that's the method i use um so i'm gonna go ahead and strain this and then i'm gonna go ahead and boil my rice I'm already. Damn, this sounds amazing. Say hi, Pecky. But show mama. Oi. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck are you doing? What position is that? Hi, 
know your rice is done when you see those little holes in it. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna let that chill. Oh, you gotta look for the bay leaf. Where is it? Oh, it, you just mixed it up. It was right here. There you go. Okay. Make sure you take it out. We don't need it anymore. Take it out. Okay. All right, you just mix it. And it is juicy, you see that? Mm -hmm. Just me, that's it. That's my sad me. Okay. Okay, so listen, I know the Amber Lynn Reed is notorious for making food that looks very disgusting. If you've seen Zachary Michael, then you know her food isn't the greatest because he's made her recipes and I believe him when he says that it's not the greatest. So this, Zach, if this ever reaches you, please, please make it. Trust me, you'll like it. It's not bad. It looks plain, right? But it's bomb. <laughs> please make it. Trust me, you'll like it. Um, it's not master chef quality, but it's pretty bomb. Mm. So good. So good. <gasps> oh, Becky. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? You're on YouTube right now. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording right now as we speak. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> you don't want to say hi? Well, no, I just wanted to talk. I want my drive back home. But say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Alright, I'll call you back when I'm done recording. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. There was my sister, my big sis. She just got out of work and she usually calls me when she drives back home. No, but seriously, you guys, try this and then tell me if it's good. Tell me if it's good. I, mean, I know she thinks it's good. She wants a, a piece of it right now. Look at her. She's just eyeing it. Oh my God. Hmm? How do you feel in your new sweater, Pecky? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. I think we just made a thumbnail. <laughs> She's a paid actor. Mm -mm. <clears throat> you can't have human food. Don't worry, you guys. I feed them. They're not starved. I don't know why they act like they're starved. Um, I have some doggy treats, so I just go ahead and give her some treats. I'll give you treats later, mama. No, let me know. I'll give you treats later. Treats? Treat? Okay. I'll give it to you later, okay? Let me eat. Let me eat, baby. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm feeling a little tired. I'm super sore from that workout so I'm just gonna focus on abs later today because my legs hurt it was a lot of squatting involved um in that workout I did on Tuesday I think it was Tuesday when I filmed that but um yeah and you know what I'm sorry you guys if this video wasn't as positive as my previous video you know I don't want my videos to be sad and emotional but I want to be honest and I want to share 
everything and that's just just what I went through today and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um let me know what you guys want to see honestly I'm down to do anything um if you guys want me to do a certain workout or recommend any workout or even recipes I would love to do that I would love to cook something new um or even attempt to do a workout <laughs> um but yeah I guess I'll just I'll end this video here and I'll see you guys next time Thank you.